<clears throat> Hello, it's me again. So, uh, after Italy, kind of didn't clean out my money, but I spent about 50 grand out of everything I've saved. And I have about 30 or 40 left. And so the angels are telling me I got to travel a little bit and go to different places and do things that I'm supposed to do. They don't have the information 100% of what I'm supposed to do. They just stay close to me and uh, I figured out that I can get them to go do things for me so that they're not constantly bothering me all the time. But anyway, so here's how it goes. Uh, 28 years old and I go to Vegas. Uh, my sister is engaged with a soccer player. I can say those things. I can't say which sister, which soccer player or anything like that. They get married anyway. But still, so they're in Vegas. I go down there and, uh, you know, they got, they're, they're trying to do things and get, get together and stuff like that and feel each other out. My dad actually sent me to, it was just the angels, but I was supposed to be there anyway. So if it's all coincidence or are supposed to be what it's supposed to be, you know, God has a plan for everybody. So <clears throat> I start working in a casino, a uh, blackjack dealer. I did it for about a month. Then uh, they says, no, no, you can't do this. Uh, you got to lose once in a while. There's a system to it. But I have a problem with that. I, I, uh, I can't, I don't know. I just couldn't do it. But anyway, they had another job for me. They put me down. Was a, Vegas doesn't have a lot of basement. So it's the bottom floor. You go down a few steps, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I start working in a psychic place where they do readings and stuff like that. Now, there's like 10 or 12 of us down there, and there's always people coming in for readings. Now, when I was there, they had a little sheet with a drawer that you pull out, and you ask these questions, and they'll give you determinations of what's going to happen with the person. Uh, the first time I did it, and then I'm not like that. I, I can't do stuff like that. I, I already know what's going to happen, so I stopped using that sheet. But the situation that happened during this time was a, a gentleman that came in and uh, in Vegas everybody drinks everybody does what they do right and uh, he's been losing he goes yeah I'm gonna lose a lot of money and drinking and stuff like that am I gonna win am I gonna make any money here and uh, I go to him I go ah, no you're not really but uh, don't go on the bus trip tomorrow that you're gonna go on he goes, that's almost free. Like, you know, it's really not that expensive, but I'll waste some time before I leave. And I go, yeah, it may be free, but just don't go on it. Uh, get drunk again, uh, you know. Just don't go on that bus. And he says, you're not supposed to give us bad news. You're supposed to give us good news. And I said, well, you know, I'm just telling you don't go on this bus. And so he leaves. A day later or two, he comes ranting in, really upset, yelling and screaming at me. And I'm like, what? And I didn't recognize him. I didn't remember from the day before or day after, two days before or something. He goes, he goes, listen, buddy, you told me not to go on that bus. The bus driver fell asleep. Three people died. A whole bunch of people got hurt. And I said, I didn't know which bus you were going on. You could have stopped it. I said, all I knew was to tell you not to go on that bus. That's all I knew. But he got really mad and started yelling and screaming, and made a really big scene, and I got fired. So I'm just telling you, sometimes you're supposed to be where you're supposed to be. And the only information you have is that little bit to change that person's course of life. That is it. And there'll be more stories like this because I travel for about, I don't know, 10 to 12 years doing things like that, which I didn't realize I was actually doing. And most of them, even though I did the right thing, got me in trouble because I didn't know which bus was going to crash or it was going to fall asleep. I didn't know the particulars. All I knew was that individual was not supposed to get on the bus and go on that trip. Vegas they had a lot of trips to the dams, to the different places. 
But anyway, I didn't know where it was going. I didn't know when it was going. I didn't know anything about the, the destinations of the bus. So, I'm trying to keep these under five minutes. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Bert.